y'all doing? Um, Mike Hines here with Way Life Outdoors and Survival. And uh, I promised y'all that I'd show y'all how I'm going to fire hard in this tip of this spear. Well, you know, I just kind of doing a few finishing touches on it, smoothing it up a little bit, want it pretty smooth. Um, let me get this knife put away. This is in relation to our last video where we made the survival spear with the fish gig on the end and talked about a throwing stick and um, rocks for survival hunting. But uh, y'all, all I'm gonna do is, uh, let me get this other camera turned on here, y'all. That way we can get a close up view of what we're doing. Like I said, we don't need a big rolling fire. I've already got a little fire going and stuff. Um, we don't need a great big rolling fire. All we're gonna do, y'all, is um, actually what we're doing is uh, when we put this down in the fire, we're not gonna actually put it in the fire. We're gonna put it in the coals kind of underneath the fire. And um, the reason I'm gonna do that, it's gonna actually harden. Actually, what it's gonna do, it's gonna take the rest of the moisture out of this piece of wood. And um, that's gonna make it a lot harder. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna insert this down in the bottom and like I say y'all we don't want to catch on fire we may have to do it two or three times but uh just a little something you know kind of make the tip of that spear harder um especially if, you know, around here um what we did already will suffice I mean it'll be fine uh now if I was somewhere where there was larger game or predator situation um then I would kind of you know, really want to make sure this thing was hardened and, you know, maybe even a little bit longer, maybe even a little bit bigger around, a little bit uh, bigger diameter. But as of right now, all we're going to do is um, just kind of show y'all what I'm doing, give you a general idea of what we're doing. And you see how the outside of that's turning black? Y'all, what I like to do, I like to take this, take a rock. Um, I have done it with a rock actually in the ground and rub the spear on it, but since I've already got these, I'm just going to take and um, kind of rub that as we heat it. I'm just going to kind of take that rock, kind of take all the burrs and stuff off. All right, now we'll heat it some more. I may have to do this several times, y'all, two or three times. But um, another thing we're going to do today, we're also going to practice throwing this uh, throwing stick and a couple of these rocks we're probably not going to actually throw at a game but any kind of game or anything but I'll set up something out here to throw at and uh, kind of show you what we could do throwing our stick and our rock and stuff just to kind of give you an idea of how that'll work yeah that's heating up real nice now we're going to take, take this rock, rub it down again real good. All right. One more time. That'll probably be close enough for what we're going to do today. We'll heat it again. Fire is about gone out, but we still got some hot coals down there. That's what we want. Um, I don't really like to put it in the flame because it kind of burns my wood, and we don't want to burn it and weaken it. We're trying to make it stronger. Is the whole point of this? So uh, just kind of heat that thing. It's staying there two or three minutes. Kind of roll it around both all sides. You see how that thing's getting black? Look how much smoother it is from rubbing that rock across it as we heat it. Now that would penetrate something a whole lot better than the way it was before, but just because of how smooth, how much harder and how much smoother it is. Just to kind of give y'all an idea. Gonna 
gonna make a pretty good spear chip, I think. Tell you what, I may do that one more time. Kind of pull some of this up in here a little bit. There we go. Fire harden this baby one more time. And uh, on this one, y'all, I'm not actually, oh, the smoke's in front of my camera. But, uh, hey, my Boy Scout leader used to have a saying for that. He'd say, if you say, I love rabbits, the smoke will leave you alone. Y'all, he'd have us all kids sitting around a campfire yelling, I love rabbits, I love rabbits. You know what? It didn't make the smoke go away. <laughs> I think he'd just like to hear us all say that. Now, that spear is actually starting to smoke a little bit. I'm going to probably stop there. Um, what I was saying, y'all, I'm not going to actually fire harden the gig into this, the fish frog gig into this. I just don't see the point of it. Um, if I was going to do that, I'd have done it before I split it down. All right. Well, there's the tip. Fire hardened spear, y'all. To give you an idea what we were doing here. Let me see if I can't get you a better view. I don't think we can turn this camera off. And, uh, y'all can uh, kind of see there. That's the tip that was fire hardened. All right. And it does penetrate the ground very well. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll tell you what. Um, let me go and kind of get some of this stuff situated. And um, we'll go out here somewhere kind of out in the open and see if we can't throw this stick and maybe throw a couple of these rocks and see what we can't do with it, y'all. Y'all stick with me, and uh, we'll try to do that here in just a second, y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to record, but uh, what I did, y'all, um, unfortunately, no matter where we go, anywhere man's been, you can always find trash, y'all. Um, it's a shame, but that's what it is. You know, one of the rules I live by is uh, if you go out somewhere into the wild, you stay there. For any amount of time at all, when you leave, you should leave that spot looking better than what it is when you got there. Um, don't leave your trash stuff laying around. That's one of the big things that I am definitely against. But no matter where you go, you always find trash, y'all. But uh, anyway, I wonder what we're doing. Y'all, first thing we're going to do, I've got this uh, throwing stick here. And uh, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this without standing up. Um, I don't have my big tripod with me, but... Y'all can see I set two metal, uh, two plastic water bottles down there. I found them laying over here in the edge of the grass. But uh, all we're going to do, y'all, that's about probably 10 yards, I guess, 10, maybe 12 yards away. I'm going to try to aim at the one on the left first. But uh, here we go, y'all, if this works. Look at that. First shot. Now, if that was a rabbit, squirrel, small game, I'd have something to eat tonight, y'all. And uh, I don't know how well this one's going to work out. Oh, and just so y'all know, I've got my other camera recording down there, so you can see that I did hit it. But uh, anyway, y'all, um, this is our smaller rock, probably about baseball size. Uh, I'm going to try to hit that other uh, other bottle there. So uh, here we go, y'all. See what happens. Oh, I bounced right over top of it. Okay, one more rock. Oh, bounced right over. But we got close, y'all. Um, and you know, that's the main thing. There's no guarantees out here, y'all. There's no way to say you will definitely be able to collect food, um, harvest your own food. But uh, anyway, y'all, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I was doing. Uh, I promised y'all when we made our video, made our spear, and um, made the throwing stick and stuff that I would uh, kind of show y'all how to fire harden it and show y'all throwing this stick and this rock and stuff. But uh, anyway, y'all, I just wanted to kind of do what I said. I try to keep my word to you if I tell you I'm going to do something. And... Uh, Throwing stick worked out real good. Um, the rocks, maybe not so great. But you know, y'all, when I say something about that rock, you know, I mean, if you're in a survival situation, you don't have anything else, pick that rock up. 
pack it in your hand as you walk around. Something runs by, throw it at it. Hey, if there's a one in a thousand chance you hit it, that's better than the odds of you not having anything. I know. Uh, anyway, y'all, I just want to tell you, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe to our videos, and we'll see y'all next time.